G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to multiply fractions. And it's a pretty simple thing to do. So uh, sit back, learn a couple of things, and you'll pick this up really easy. So we get a couple of different types of fractions we're going to be looking at to multiply here. But I'm going to start with the one which I remember as a little kid, made me really remember how to do this straight away, which was this one. Uh, I remember being told by my older brother at the time that a half times a half, and he said, what do you think that is? And I didn't get it right, I think I said one, but that's incorrect. A half times a half is a quarter, yeah? Literally, what we've done here is the top times the top, the numerator times the numerator, and the denominator times the denominator, two times two equals four. But really, what's going on here? If we could have a look at it, we could actually draw one half. And what we're actually really working out here, this is my half here, but really what we're working out is we're working out a half of this half. So what is a half of this half? And you can see here, that a half of a half is a quarter. So it makes perfect sense. This is, once again, the top number times the top number and the bottom number times the bottom number. So that's really simple, right? So what about a harder example now? What about we do, what is two fifths multiplied by three quarters? And the idea is much the same. Top times the top, the numerator times the numerator, then the denominator times the denominator. And you got your answer there. Uh, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. One part that we have to do to this one, though, is this fraction here can be simplified. So 2 goes into both of these numerator and the denominator here. 2 goes in 3 times, and 2 goes into 20 10 times. So our 6 over 20 can be simplified to 3 over 10. Now, there is a couple of variations you'll want to be aware of with this, so let me show you those. First off, what if you were to get something like this? What if you were to get six times a half? Now, like all multiplication, all multiplication really is, is just repeated addition. So this is the equivalent of saying half plus a 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 half, six times. How would you go about doing this? Well, you could go through and add like that, but it's fairly inefficient. I think the easiest way to do this is to recognize that this six here can also be written as a fraction but over one, okay? Because six is also equal to six over one. Six divided by one is equal to six. And then we can multiply this by one half. When we do this, six times one is equal to six. One times two is equal to two, okay? Six divided by two, our answer here is three. What about one more of those? Okay, what about nine times three quarters? Bit nastier looking, but they're not that bad, okay? Once again, this nine here is going to become a fraction over one. So this becomes nine over one multiplied by three over four. All right, top times top, bottom times bottom, got your answer. Nine threes are 27. Uh, one times four is equal to four. We can simplify this by turning it into a uh, mixed number rather than an improper fraction. So 27 divided by four is equal to six with three left over. We put this over four, and that's our answer. Now, the other type of variation you'll get is this one. Uh, for example, what is two and a quarter multiplied by three and one third? Now, you're going to notice here we are dealing with mixed numbers, but that's no problem. We just have to turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, so when we did this, remember, two and one quarter, we go two times four plus one. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, plus 1 is equal to 9. And if you're not certain of what I just did, I have a video in the playlist attached to this in the description, which looks at improper fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, this is going to be multiplied by, okay, 3 to 3 becomes 3 times 3, plus 1 is equal to 10, over 3. What does this equal? 9 times 10 is equal to 90. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. We can turn this now into a mixed number. 90 divided by 12 is equal to 7, because 7 12s are 84, with 6 over 12. This can be simplified further because 6 goes into both the numerator and the denominator here. So we can end up with our answer of 7 and a half. Okay, how'd you go with that? What about I give you a few examples to do by yourself? What about nice and easy to start off with? We're just going to go, what is 3? over four times, what about three over four? Well, three over four squared. <laughs> what about uh, 
7 times 1 half, nice and easy. And what about 3 and a quarter times 2 over 3? And we'll see what that equals. Okay, give them a fly. Okay, so 3 over 3 times 4 over 4, that's 3 quarters squared. 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. This can't be simplified anymore, so our answer is 9 sixteenths. 7 times 1 half. Well, we're going to have to turn this 7 here into a fraction, so it becomes 7 over 1 times 1 half. This is equal to 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. This 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 with 1 left over that becomes 3 and a half. 3 and a quarter we're going to have to change into an improper fraction. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 3. We don't have to change that 2 over 3. This is equal to 13 times 2 is 26. 4 times 3 is 12. So we could simplify this right now. As you can see, the number 2 goes into both of these. And then we'll turn it into our mixed number. 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. This can be now turned into a mixed number. 13 divided by 6 is equal to 2 with 1 left over. Uh, that 1 is going to go over this denominator here, 1 over 6. Anyway, hopefully you found that video informative. Multiplying fractions is pretty easy, right? The next video we're going to have a look at dividing fractions, and this is pretty simple as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.